Good morning, my beloved students. This is teacher Mustafa, and today we're going to go for a grammar session. What's in a grammar session, actually? Now, let's find out, because I'm not going to give you the topic so easy. I'm going to let you find it out. And let's start with Bilal. Bilal? Hola. Hola. Read the following sentence, please. Mm, okay. Two students decide to study. Yes. So do I know how many students? Yes. Yes. So here I know how many students. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Now look at this one. Yeah, no, uh, I don't know exactly how many students there are. I don't know how many students. The exact. Exactly. Very good. If also I say. Uh, I do not know the exact number here. I don't know the exact number. Very good. How many men exactly? So is there a difference between this sentence here mm -hmm. in yellow and no, it's just to be exact of this word here in yellow and this word here in green? Yes. What is the difference though? Uh, the the word in yellow in yellow tells you exactly how many students. Very good. But uh, but the words in green tell uh, uh don't tell you how many students exactly. Very good. We call we call the words that don't tell us how many exactly. We call them. Indefinite pronoun. Indefinite. Pronouns. Pronouns. And this is the first part of our grammar session today. The indefinite pronouns. Pronouns. So let Malik tell us what again are indefinite pronouns. Yeah. Uh, indefinite pronouns are like uh, when, when the, uh, the yellow word tell you, uh, it tells you the exact exact uh, students so but now which one is the indefinite pronoun the words in the yellow or the words in green green very good so the indefinite pronoun yeah does it tell you the number exactly malik no no it doesn't tell you the number exactly exactly uh, i I have something to say. It's actually plural. This one is plural. Yes, very good. It's actually plural, but does it tell you the number? No. No, it doesn't tell you the number. Okay. okay. We have also indefinite pronouns such as both others. Many, yeah, both others, all, many, all, some. Okay, so all of those don't tell us exactly how many there, huh? Yes, Abdurrahman. Okay, bye. What do you say? That the green is indifferent pronoun. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. There's a problem with your mic. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, just raise your voice. Okay. Uh, two is what? Two is a number. 
I used it to contrast between how many students exactly and some students. I don't know their number exactly, got it? I can remove two and put five. I know, but I want the name of it, like two is- It's an adjective, it's an adjective. Okay. It's a number adjective, okay? Okay. Huh. Here, actually both tells us that it, they are two, but still they count as indefinite pronouns. They count as indefinite pronouns. Now, Hamza Ahmed, I need you to tell me something. Hello, Mr. Hello, Hamza, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hamza, tell me here. All of those indefinite pronouns are singular or plural? They talk uh, about plural. just one or more than one? More than one. Very good, so they are plural. Uh, indefinite. Pronouns. Pronouns. Very good. Very, very good. They are plural indefinite pronouns. Thank you very much for that, Hamza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Muhammad Walid. Hello. Hello. Now, before we go, just I need Adham because he has a question. Yes, Adham. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, what's your question? Uh, there, there is an indefinite pronouns. There is an indefinite pronouns. Yes. There is an, an indefinite pronouns. Does there is an definite pronouns? Yes, the definite pronouns, the definite pronouns are the pronouns that tell exactly. That tell Exactly. Exactly. Like when I say five students. So do I know how many students? Yeah. If I say two teams, do I know how many teams? Yeah. Yes. This is the definite pronouns. I know them. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Muhammad Walid. Yeah. Hello. Yes. If I say... When I say Muhammad Walid read the story, yeah. do I know who read the story? Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, Muhammad Walid who re read the story. But if I say, hmm. Some read the story. No, I didn't know her. Uh, I didn't know who read the story. I don't know who read the story. The story. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for someone else. Hmm. Uh. Like uh. I don't know who, uh, uh, like... Uh, you, But you know an information about him, right? Uh, no. Uh, yes, like, you do? Uh, yeah, 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 I know he's a man. Yes, so I know. No, no, yeah. Who drove the car? Yes, but look at the next one. No, I don't know. I didn't know. I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. who drove. So is there a difference, Muhammad? Uh, yeah. Here, yes. uh, I know who drove the car. A man. No, no, tell me the it. first sentence. Shall I highlight it with yellow or green? Oh, uh, yellow. Yellow. Why? Oh, uh, because uh, it's, uh, I know who read the story. Very good. What about the second one? Uh, green. Green. Why? 
Uh, because I don't, I, I, I don't know who re read the story. Very yeah, good. So what about the third one? Uh, uh, yellow. Yellow. Very good. Because I know at least one information about who okay. drove the car. But yeah, the last one. Uh, green. Because green. I, don't, I don't know. Because I don't know anything about it. Right? It's just yeah. somebody. Very good. Yeah. Now, okay. let me ask. Okay, thanks, boy. Bye bye. Yusuf Khalid. Yes, mister. Here, Yusuf, tell me, please. Someone and somebody. Is it plural or singular? Uh, someone is singular. Very good. What about somebody? Somebody singular. Yes, it's also singular. Very good. Yeah, also Mr. Singular. I have a question. Yes. How man is, uh, we know uh, who drove the car. It's man. It has like, be like. Do you have, <clears throat> look, it's a man, right? Yeah. So you have one information about it, about him. He's yeah. a man. Yeah. So we know information about him, right? Yes. But someone? No, you didn't. I can someone. guess. Is yeah. it a man, a woman, a child? Yeah. Right? So I don't yeah. have any clue about him. But yeah. here, at least I have one clue, right? Yes. So okay. this is it. OK. So Muad has a question. Oh. Yes, uh, Muad. The, the, the nouns uh, both, uh, others, many, all, and some. Uh, the only one that is uh, like, like, like I knew, who, like, I know who like uh, read the story, like both people. Uh, yes, that's what I told you. That's what I told you. Apart from both, apart from both, all do not tell the number except for both. Because both yeah, obviously tell about how many people? Yeah, two. Two people. Mm -hmm. Though it's still called an indefinite pronoun. How? Got it? Okay. Yes. Great. Mister, I really have uh, two questions. Yes, Hamza. Five and few. How five uh, students decided to study? I know how many students, uh, okay, I know the students, that they are five students, but, but I didn't know who they are. Yes, but I, at least I have one information about them. I know how many students exactly, right? Yeah. But here, if you look here, I say few students. Do I know their numbers? Do I know how many? No. No, I don't, right? Yeah, like several, I didn't know. Yeah, seven, they might be three, they might be 10. I don't know. Okay. Right? What yeah. is the second question? Uh, this was in five and few only. Yes, okay. Bye. Bye-bye. So, as you could see, we have plural indefinite pronouns and singular yeah. indefinite pronouns. Pro now. Ask me in a question or like that. Okay, so one of the uh, let's just take some examples of the uh, singular uh, indefinite pronouns. We have anyone, anybody, everyone, and everybody. Something, no one, either, and each. Okay, all of them are, huh, let me Definitely. ask. Must have you, yes, you Yusuf, huh, you're, you're yeah. online here. So all of yeah. those are? Indefinite, uh, singular, singular. Yes, singular. Huh? 
indefinite indefinite pronouns pronouns very good singular indefinite pronouns and let's highlight them in green so we have the plural indefinite pronouns and we have the singular indefinite pronouns let me also write those ones because some of you might forget few comma several here also someone and somebody someone somebody great okay so this is it this is absolutely it yes yes and Mr. I have a question about yes, uh, sure. plural indefinite pronouns. Can you what are the indefinite up? pronouns? No, no, I know, but can you scroll up? Yes, yeah, sure. Why you write posts in the plural indefinite pronouns and we know how many posts? Uh, yes, posts this is what to... I told you, Yazan, before. Look, Yazan, we know that both equals two, right? Though yes. we also write it in the indefinite pronoun. Got it? Okay. This is something that we don't have, you know, we, we can't, you know, delete it. We know both yes. equals two, but still we have to write it in the plural indefinite pronouns. Yes, but it? I it's only a tricky write... one. Yes. But yes, I it's only question you because I have you in the first sentence five students. Yes. And five number like both. Yes, very good. Five is a number. If I say both students, so I mean two students, but both as a word is a plural indefinite pronoun. Got it? All right, Mr. Great. Very good. So now I need to ask. Shadi, Shadi, look at this sentence and tell okay. me which one to choose. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I have a question before we before we start. Yes. What's your question? Um, wait, our lesson is about, uh, you say to us, uh, I don't know, and I don't know who the read, uh, the reader, yeah, but now you say to me to say play and plays, you don't, uh, you didn't say to us, how can I, uh, make it? Yes, so yes, I know, I know, that's why I'm asking you. Okay, I think that it's plays because the students is so many very it's good so plays. many students play or plays plays play or plays plays play very good this is the answer correct many students play because they are because uh, many and students is a plural it's plural. Very good. This is grade one grammar. I just wanted you to remember. Got it, Cherry? Yeah. This is grade one grammar. Look at this sentence I, also. I forget it. <laughs> likes. Very good. Each student? Likes. Likes. This is it. So easy, right? Yes. So what do we know with the? Singular indefinite pronoun. We have the verb plus. Um, yes, but it is a uh, plural. Here it's plural. No, no, it's singular, but likes is plural. Yeah, we don't say likes is plural. We, we say that the verb plus s. We say that the verb plus. S. Yes, very good. But with the plural indefinite pronouns, uh, it's plays. We, we put the verb that. with, with some, do we add something to the verb? No. 
No, very good, very, very good. So let's write it down so that we don't forget it here with singular. Huh? Tell me, with singular? Singular uh, and different pronoun. Yes? Um, we say that... We add... We add F. S, E, S, e -S, I, -E -S and I, -E -S, yes. To? To verb. But with? Huh? But a plural, uh, plural uh, indefinite pronoun, we don't add S and E, S and I, E, S, because it's plural. We don't add, and let me highlight don't. To the verb, right? Yeah, because that it is a plural. Why we add this? Very good. Those are very important points. Very good. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Thank you, Shadi. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. So, Muhammad Magdi, can you give us a quick recap about what we studied today? Okay, so uh, what we studied today is in, uh, in, uh, indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns, very good. Uh, indefinite pronouns. Okay, the uh, indefinite pronouns is uh, just like few, several, both, as uh, other, many, all, some. It, do it doesn't give how many uh, person actually did this or how many or uh, the numbers uh, that did this. Amazing. Those are called what? Uh, plural and different pronouns. Thank you very much again. And come on, uh, go on. And this uh, singular and different pronouns is anyone, anybody, someone, but somebody, everyone, so everybody, something, no one, either, each. This, yes. Or these, or, these are all singular and different pronouns. Yes. And what, what do they represent? Uh, they, they doesn't rep they represent about something who did this, but about doesn't represent a number of how many person actually. Not how many. Here is singular, so I know it's one, right? Yeah. But I don't know any information about it. Yes. I don't have yes, any like information about it. Yes, information yes. about it. Very good. Very very good. Thank you very much for that. Now let's move on to something else. And it's also, it's another topic, but it's related also. Okay. When I say, Rakan, are you here? Yes, I am here. So if I say, huh, babies, um, do you think that babies take showers alone, Rakan? Yeah. Babies, do you think they take showers alone? No. No, right? So yeah. here. If I need to remove alone and put another pronoun, what will I put? Hmm. Uh, what do you think, huh? Search your mind. Man. Hmm. Let me give you a hint. Bye. Hmm. Uh, my shampoo. You take a shower by your shampoo? Uh, yeah. I bought the shampoo. But I say alone. Uh. Huh. Does anyone help you? Of course not, right? So yeah. what will I put? Uh, I do not have anything. You don't have anything in your mind? Search your mind. Okay. Huh? Mohan, can you help us, please? 
Uh, by myself. Myself. Very good. Oh, my myself. Self. Very good. And he drives the car. Huh. He drives the car. Hamsel. Uh, very Hamsel. good. Hamsel. She cooks the food. Herself. 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 That's great. You study. Huh? You study uh, a lot. Uh, you. Um, <clears throat> you study. Huh? You study yourself. What? Yourself. 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 Very good. You study yourself. Thank you, Mohammed. Yourself. And thank you, Rakan. Let's move to Muhammad Ahmed. Muhammad. Yes. If I say we eat, so we eat. Does anybody help us with food? No. Does anyone help you with eating? No. No. So we eat what? By my, uh, eat. We eat by ourselves. Very good. Our? Ourselves. Self, Self, right? Yeah, right. So this is correct. Amza Akram, can you help us, please? Yes, Wait, yes, Ahmed, I need you. Amza Akram, can you help us with that? What? Can you help us with that? Uh, okay. What do I help eat with? Ourself. Do you think this is correct or wrong? No. What? So what shall we put? I know, Mr. Uh, tell me, Muhammad. So, oh, no, no, now I know. Move the F and we, yep, we yes, do it. Very good, Hamza. Very good, Muhammad. Ahmed. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We eat ourselves. Now, Muhammad Ahmed, why did we not put self and put selves? Because ours men. Very good, because this is plural. This is uh, myself or no? Now they drink, huh? Drink what do you think? Themselves. Very good. Them themselves. Very good. And you in the plural. So, for example, you play with you. yourself. Yourselves. Very good. Yourselves. Now, those. Myself here shows what? Uh, refers I. to what? It refers I. to I. Himself refers to what? He. Herself. He. She. Yourself. You. you. Ourselves. We. we. Themselves. They. Yourselves, you. you. So here it means that someone is doing something alone with no help from anyone, right? Yes, yes, right. Very good. Here we have a part of those are singular and another part that is plural. So this refers to the pronoun. And they are called? Reflexive. Uh, reflective pronoun. Very good. What are they? Reflexive pronouns. Well, I didn't say reflexive. I said reflective, but it was enough for me. Yes, they are called reflexive pronouns. Those reflexive pronouns. Part of them is singular, and part and of them the is, part is plural. plural. Very good. So here, myself, let me highlight it, refers to I, 
Oh, and teacher, sorry for yesterday that I didn't get it correct. Never mind. Himself refers to he. Herself refers to she. Well, bye. Yourself. You. Adam, help me with that. I can't do it alone. We eat. Yourself you. refers to what? You study. You only, right? Yeah. So you yourself. Yeah. We. We. For uh, ourselves. Ourselves. Very good. They. Themselves. Themselves. Great. You in the plural. Yourselves. Your selves. Very good. Very, very good. I'm very proud of you this period. Really, 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 really. So in this period, uh, what did we study, Adam, in the second part of the period? Uh, the reflexive pronouns and the infinite pronouns. Yes, no, just leave the indefinite pronouns now. Let's go for the reflexive pronouns. What are the reflexive pronouns, Adam? I will be my, uh, myself. And when you someone will be does something. Alone. Alone. Very good. Don't forget that. When someone does something, okay, but they, but they is, but they is not uh, someone. They are, they are a group of people. Yes, but they are treated as a unit. So if I divided the group, uh, the, the class into two groups, right? Yeah. So I will have two groups only, not many students. So we only have one minute. So I. I pray to God that you understood and uh, I hope that you had fun and that you understood this amazing period. Oh yes, there's it and itself. Yes, sorry, it and itself. I almost forgot. Thank you, Hamza Ahmed. Heart, man, I love you. Okay, guys, so I'll see you again after the five minute break and we'll have lots of breakout rooms. See you guys. Bye.